all out because my parents were really conservative. 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 Hi, hi, hello. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Cyber Girl, and today I'm going to be trying out a style that I've been wanting to try for years. <laughs> Scene fashion! If you have no clue what that is, scene is a subculture that started around the early 2000s in the West and it's associated with musical genres such as pop punk, crunkcore, uh, post hardcore, metalcore, and just a bunch of other musical genres. Uh, yeah. So, scene kids would wear bright colored clothing tutu skirts, skinny jeans and fitted shirts, fingerless gloves, tiny tiaras, they'd have piercings, and the most important of all, they would have the iconic scene hair. So scene hair is usually straight, layered, teased with long bangs that would cover one or both eyes. Sometimes their hair would be dyed bright colors, they'd wear hair extensions or even have coon tails, which are like horizontal stripes that look like a raccoon's tail. Scene was very popular during the MySpace days, but it's actually starting to make a comeback with the newer generation of alt kids because it is the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? During my teen years. So during my earlier teen years, I wanted to be seen so bad. Like I was definitely more along the lines of emo, which is kind of sort of different from scene, but I couldn't really go all out because my parents were really conservative. Conservative conservative. So I just like admire all the cool scene kids at my school from afar because I was like too shy to talk to them. And then when I went home and I went on the internet, I'd go on Tumblr where I would see all these other cool scene kids that I like wanted to be so bad. So today I will be giving young Christina's dream come true by giving myself a scene transformation. <laughs> I'm so excited! Ah. <laughs> For those of y'all who might be new to the channel, I personally wear Decora Fashion, which is a style that came from Harajuku in Japan. And if you want to know more information about that, I made a video all about it that you can check out. But I'm bringing up Decora because sometimes people will ask me if I'm wearing scene fashion or if Decora was inspired by scene, but it, they are both definitely two very different things, even though, you know, they still, they have their similarities, like the bright colors and the hair clips and stuff, but they're both definitely two separate things with different histories. Uh, but yeah, just so, Y'all know. So now, let us commence the transformation! <laughs> For the outfit, I had most of the stuff that I needed, like the, uh, the tutu skirt and these neon fishnet tights that I'm gonna wear underneath the skirt. And then I have like these striped socks that I'm gonna wear over the tights and a bunch of like accessories and candy that I'm going to be wearing. Um, but what I didn't have was a tight fitting shirt because I personally like wearing like more loose fitting shirts cause it's like more comfy for me. So I managed to find this. Karopi shirt. I found this Karopi shirt on Depop and it was definitely a very good find. I was so happy when I found it. And a lot of like scene kids would wear tight fitting shirts with characters on them like Invader Zim, Domo, and Hello Kitty. So, you know, this was like perfect for the look and I, I just had to get it. And then for shoes, I didn't have any like Vans or Converse. So I managed to find these rainbow sketchers. <laughs> I'm really glad that I found them because they're like a lot cheaper than Vans and Converse. Um, but you know, they still work, so it's all good. Now that I'm changed, let's work on hair hair. <laughs> let's work on hair and makeup. Um, so with 
seen makeup they usually have like really thin brows so i went ahead and just like um shaved my eyebrows really thin i actually i kind of i kind of dig it definitely has a very like alt look to it and then they also have really like bold smoky eyeshadow and pretty even toned foundation and i've already like got the base makeup on my face so i'm just going to be concentrating on my eye makeup i'm going to attempt to do a smoky eyeshadow i've never in my life done something like that so uh i'm just gonna wing it and hope for the best so good luck to me <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> doesn't look too too bad too shabby i think I think it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, that is my eyeshadow. And now I'm going to use this Sandy Taboo X Brian Beauty Eyeliner. And this is probably like the best eyeliner that I've ever used. And I've tried a lot of different kinds. This is like the felt tip kind and it's amazing. 1010 highly recommend also brian beauty is qpoc owned let's support our qpoc friends but i'm going to be using this to create like a thick wing and then i'm going to plop on some falsies so yeah just to like finish up my eyes <laughs> so other than the eyeliner and the lashes i decided to also add just like some extra details kind of make it look like fake piercings and stuff but with my real piercings i decided to add this nose chain thingy to connect my two piercings and these are actually by my friend noe she makes them and she has a bunch of different kinds on her site that i'll link below but now it is time for hair <laughs> So originally I was gonna use like my natural hair, but instead I decided to use this wig because it's a lot more like bright and vivid. I've already straightened and layered it. So now I'm going to plop it on my head and I'm gonna tease it and add hair clips and like set it with hairspray. So let's go. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. I can't. I lit. Okay. Okay. I. <laughs> I actually kind of dig it. Like. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. I have no idea what to say. <laughs> I'm just like basking in the just the glory. Oh wow! What? Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! What? What? Wow! Oh my gosh! Um. So here. It's the completed look. <laughs> my completed scene look. My scene queen look. I really like tried my best to tease the heck out of this uh, out of this wig and put a bunch of hair clips and stuff and I even um for roar <laughs> on the er <laughs> Wow. Um wow. I I feel alive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um I just um I guess I'm feeling really happy right now because I'm getting to live out a dream that I've been wanting to try since forever and it feels great. Like y'all read a little <laughs> More people should definitely get into scene. Like, it's amazing to have this big poofy hair and 
I just like the vibe with scene is it's so it's so different from Decora, but at the same time, I definitely still still feel those like Decora vibes because of like all the candy and the hair clips and stuff. But still, it's such a new feeling, and yeah, I really really enjoyed this. So who knows? Maybe I might you know do more scene looks in the future. We shall see. Yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed this transformation that just occurred and possibly brought back some memories for some of y'all and possibly inspired y'all to try scene fashion too. So yeah, but before I go, I would like to mention that I recently started Twitch. <laughs> Yay! So I'll be streaming on there every Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. Central. And then every like other Saturday, I'll release a new video on YouTube. And then every Sunday at 12 p.m. Central, I will be live here on YouTube as well. So if any of y'all have like any burning questions about J fashion or just anything in general, I can answer those questions for you on the spot and also play some fun games together. So last week um, during the YouTube and as well as the Twitch live stream, we played some Jackbox games and oh my gosh, it was so much fun! I had such a good time. And I also plan on doing a bunch of other stuff like showing y'all live, how I put together my Decora looks and like makeup, like step by step, and just a bunch of other fun stuff. <laughs> So yeah, now I have like a set schedule for everything, but if there are any changes to the plan, I will let y'all know on Instagram as well as on Twitter. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that we will be able to talk during a live stream on either Twitch or YouTube, but otherwise I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs> XT!